Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x? If we have x minus 2 divided by x is equal to 2. And here first we need to find all the roots of this equation. And then uh, we will verify that which of the roots are satisfied over a given question statement or which are not. Or in other words, you just say that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so. You like both of these two methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So uh, here, so please watch this video at the end. I hope so. You like both of these two methods. And now here in the first method, we need to move this x from left hand side to the right hand side. And you see here, this x is divided by left hand side. When we move it into the right hand side, it is multiplied by this 2. And it will be written as x minus 2 is equal to, this is 2 multiplied by x. And further in the next step, you see here we have, this is x minus 2 is equal to, this is 2 multiplied by x becomes here 2x. And now here further in the next step, uh, we need to move uh, the variable terms to the uh, right hand side. Uh, so this is x which is positive in the left hand side. When we move it into the right hand side, it will become negative. Then we write it as this is 2x minus x. And now here further in the next step we have. So this is minus 2 equals to here we uh, subtract these two like terms so 2x minus x becomes here plus x only. So in the first method we get only one root or one value of x which is x is equals to minus 2. So uh, this is uh, the only one root and now here in the next step we need to verify that uh, is this root be the solution or extraneous root. So for verification of the roots, we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is x minus 2 divided by x is equals to 2. And further in the next step, uh, we substitute this value of x into the left hand side and we check its behavior. So when you put it here, it will become minus 2 minus 2 divided by this is our x and uh, this is also minus 2 is equals to plus 2 or not this is the our claim and now here when we subtract these two values so, so we just add these two and write the negative sign here so minus 2 minus 2 becomes minus 4 divided by minus 2 is equals to plus 2 or not so this minus and this minus are cancelled out by each other and this is 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we obtain 2 is equals to 2. This shows that both of the sides are equal and if both of the sides are equal this means that the value of x is equals to minus 2 is satisfied over given question statement. Then here we write the solution set of the given question uh, and in solution set we have only one root of the given equation and that is x equals to minus 2. So this is the only one solution set of the given equation. And this is the final answer of first method. And now we again solve this problem for second method. And in second method, we need to copy down given question statement here. So our given question statement is x minus 2 divided by x is equals to 2. This is the our given question statement. And here uh, in the second method, we just quickly get the roots of this equation. So uh, from here we need to uh, break this fraction and when we break this fraction it will be written as x divided by x minus 2 divided by x is equals to 2. And you see here this x and this x are cancelled out by each other and we get only 1 minus. From here we have this is 2 divided by x is equals to 2. And now here in the next step. Uh, we need to move this plus 1 to the right hand side. It is positive term. When we move it into the right hand side, it will become negative and we write it as 2 minus 1. And now here further in the next step, because our target is to find the uh, roots of this equation or to find the values of x. So that's why we have this is minus 2 over x is equals to here you have 2 minus 1 becomes here 1 only. 
and now for the values of x we need to move this x to the right hand side and it is multiplied by this one and it will becomes minus 2 is equals to x multiplied by 1 becomes here x only so here in the second method we again get the one root of the given equation and that is x is equals to minus 2 but you see here in the first method we already uh, verify that uh, this value of x is satisfied our given question statement so that we call the solution set of this question is x is equals to minus 2 and now here i can just explain the difference between uh, solution and uh, extraneous root okay so you know about that uh, the roots which is satisfied our given question statement is called the solution of that equation and the root which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root okay so please remember uh, these definitions uh, and also subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos